yes yes people welcome back to the magpie channel tv now you used to see me in my car out and about doing videos this man lives in his car mm -hmm. mattress in the back now it rotates St james's park not that you can see that just as live on sky sports so make sure you check that out i'm going to pop that in now so you'll be able to watch what i had to say on kieran trip yeah you listened to the news conference earlier what have you made of what the, the new signing has had to say I mean, first of all, it's great to get Trippier through the door. I mean, what a statement saying that is by the new owners. A player that's played in the Euros final just a few months ago. A player that's currently playing in the Champions League when he was at Atletico Madrid. What we've got from today was commitment to the cause. I like the way he kept on reiterating he's up for the fight. He's motivated by the relegation battle. And he, again, stated that he's not here for the money. You know, I don't think he's getting much more than he already was at. Atletico Madrid, his family are up here. I think it suits him. He's here for the fight. And it, that's the type of character we need if we're going to survive. You currently don't have any England internationals within the squad. Yes, you have John Joe Shelby and Callum Wilson, who, who aren't picks under Gareth Southgate right now. What does that say that the club are able to attract someone like that who's currently in the England squad? And he said it today, didn't he? He said he wants to keep his place in that England team. Well, so the Seaton Giants, the Seaton Giants being woken up, hasn't it? Newcastle United always has the pull, one of the best fan bases in the world, a great stadium, the infrastructure of the city, everything's here. The new owner wasn't, now the new owners are. The money's here, the ambition's here. So we've got that to match now, and Trippier, Trippier sees that. And hopefully by luring the England International to the club, others will follow suit, because it will be a wake-up call to a lot of clubs, a lot of fans, a lot of players, that this is the place to be now. You know, Newcastle are on the rise. So how are you feeling, Keith? What's your thoughts on Newcastle's first signing in, on the new era? Well, first I'm nice and warm, because I'm not normally yeah, uh, in my are. car for that long. So <laughs> it's quite nice to be in here. I can actually talk for once. Um, yeah, I mean, it feels a little bit protracted because it's taken all week. And mm. I think with these things, when they happen dead quick, and it's kind of like quite exciting and you're caught on the hop, they always have a little bit more of a feeling about it. Um, but I think if you take take all that away and you actually look who Newcastle have signed, and yes, it's a fullback, but I think it's such a solid signing for the for the first signing. Um, you look back to what Man City did back at the start, you know, with Rubinho and whatnot, and you know. It, that was a statement signing and some. But I think with Trippier, you're not just getting a quality player in England International, you're getting someone who's going to add so much to the dressing room. Mm. You could tell that today when I, I had a little uh, chat with him at the press conference, just the way he spoke as well. He's just got he's got the right mentality, and I think that's it's characters and leaders like that that Newcastle need if they're to get themselves out of trouble at the bottom of the table. I, I, I still think it's an amazing piece of business to get him out of Atletico Madrid. I think they've been quite fortunate in the fact that he wanted to leave Spain and come back to England, but I think they've sold the club to him brilliantly. I mean, I think up until, when did he fly in here on Wednesday? Up until Tuesday, I think the club was still worried that a Chelsea or a Man United might come to the table, especially when word got out that it was only £12 million they were signing him from. Mm. I mean, we knew that last weekend, but we were trying to keep it quiet um, because we knew that, well, we'd been told that it was going to be difficult and we kind of kept it for a couple of days um, and then obviously put it out. But I think it's a great piece of business. I think it shows how good a negotiator Amanda Stavely and her people are, the fact they've managed to get him for that for that amount of money. Um, but I think he's a good player. I think the fact he can play both positions and full back you've for a while been missing someone who's good at free kicks and corners haven't you and he's, specialist. yeah he's, he's, that, he's that as well so looking forward to seeing him he's not going to get you 30 goals a season he's not going to win your game single-handedly but he's certainly a very solid good building right. block i think that's a huge point though do you know what i mean bringing in leaders bringing in players with that experience kieran trip yeah when was the last time Newcastle signed in england international well Make it own, probably on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, someone said that in the press conference today, and I hadn't, I hadn't thought about that. I mean, obviously, I think Shelby was in and around the England squad when you signed him, and obviously Callum Wilson hadn't long last. I remember when Wilson signed last summer, it was like, oh, you've got an England international striker, but obviously he's not played for them since. Um, Shelby hasn't really either. So to bring in a current England international when you're second bottom of the table really is good business as, as far as I'm concerned um, and I, as I've said already I think it's more than just what he does on the pitch I think he's going to be a character and a leader uh, it's the sort of kind of player you'd imagine if Lascelles isn't playing he would be the captain mm. or if they decide to make a change at some point maybe he, he could be the captain as well so he sounds committed to the cost what I liked about him is he said that you know I'm a risk risk taker and I'm brave and I like to do things that are a challenge and I like to challenge myself he said I challenge myself by going to Spain and I'm doing that with this move to Newcastle and it must feel good for him he's the first signing of this new regime and mm -hmm. that's always going to go down in history people people will always remember this this signing as a result of that and he should be looking at that which he might have done and other players might as well 
I can be involved in this new era at Newcastle. I can be one because you you look back. We mentioned Manchester City, mm. the signings they made at the start, and you could be a part of that building block. Do you know what I mean? You yeah. see Manchester City erecting statues of David Silva and Vincent mm. Company and stuff like that. So players may be looking at that thinking, I can, I can be a part of something special. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I think um, I think it's I think it's a real statement to other players to maybe take the plunge mm. if if they if they fancy and they want to be part of it. And he obviously knows a lot of people in the game as well, so it'll be interesting to see if he's maybe if he's used if he's maybe used as like someone to like twist people's arm or talk them into moving to the club or, or whatever that may be. But I definitely I definitely think on a number of fronts it's a very good signing, and I think it's nice that it's a fullback who's coming. It's not you've not just gone out and splashed out fifty million in a striker that that could fail or or, or, or could do well. This is a guy who, you know what you're going to get with him. You know exactly when you what you're going to get, and he's going to come in and he's going to be a, a real good addition to the side. Um, and I think it does bode well. I have to say it does bode well for the rest of the window. Let's hope so. But lastly, in the, on his press conference, he touched. He was asked about why did he come to Newcastle? Why did he swap the Liga, Champions League, for a relegation battle? Is it more money orientated? Mm. He, um, he 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 disputed that. <laughs> what do you think about that? I think he would have got a real shot yesterday, uh, Wednesday. When he got off that private jet from Madrid and then uh, turned up at the training ground, went back just, in time. Yeah, went back <laughs> in time uh, and just saw uh, what was going on there. I, I doubt uh, Atletico Madrid's training ground is as bad as Newcastle's. Um, <laughs> the shed. Yeah, I think he would have got a bit of a shot with that, and then obviously it took a while to get the transfer through. I think he was pretty bored by the end of it, but I think he would just be desperate to get involved. And we were just talking there before we spoke. Tomorrow, it's sellout. Sellout, third when, round. When was the last time that happened for a cup tie? So for him to walk out tomorrow, he'll go straight into the team um, at home against Cambridge. Five, you know, five thousand away fans. Got, you know, it'll full, be a good atmosphere. Full, it will be a great atmosphere. Yeah, and I think he'll, I think he'll realise tomorrow just what a size of a club he's come to and to see that kind of sell out for a, an FA Cup tie it's against crazy, Cambridge at home crazy. I think he'll soon realise if he had any any slight reservations which by the way I don't think he does by the sounds of him today but if he had any little lingering reservations I think that'll change his mind tomorrow when he sees a pack St James's Park and, mm -hmm. and runs out for the first time because I think the majority of other Premier League clubs if they were playing Cambridge in the third round of the FA Cup you'd be talking 25 30,000 wouldn't you if, you, if you if you their stadium could even get that so it should be a, a rupturous atmosphere tomorrow for Kieran Trippier right then that'll do thanks very much for your no worries, time mate, mate. Yep. We'll, um, we'll stay tuned I'm sure there'll be a whole host of other names linked across the next week two weeks can't wait weeks. till the 31st <laughs> need a holiday mate oh, no. need a holiday in February right then cheers for watching everyone drop your comments below who you think and who you'd like Newcastle United to sign in the remainder of this window subscribe to the Mac by Channel TV and see you later